side of the smaller triangle is to be determined. So if we imagine the center of uh, the circle, the center of the circle would be the centroid for the smaller triangle also and it would be the centroid for the bigger triangle also. And remember the property of a centroid, this is the case. So for the bigger uh, triangle, this says the bigger triangle is 12, side of the bigger triangle is 12. So this is turning out to be 12. Now look at the complete side from here to here. Let's call it A, B, C, D and E. The value of A, E can be determined using 12. This would be 12 into root 3 upon 2, the value of AE, the value of AE can be determined and we know that uh, this centroid would divide this entire line in the ratio 1 is to 2. So if CE will be half of AC, so the, the entire thing AE is equal to 12 into root 3 upon 2, this is 6 root 3. So this would mean that uh, CE is one third of this. This is going to be 2 root 3 and AC is going to be twice of CE. So this is going to be 4 root 3. And now we also know that uh, the same thing would apply in the case of B, C and CD that BC would be twice and CD would be half of BC. So BC we know, BC will be same as CE because CE is also radius of the circle and BC is also radius of the circle. So BC is um, 2 root 3 and therefore CD is going to be root 3, half of 2 root 3. This is going to be root 3. So that means BD is equal to 2 root 3 plus root 3, this is going to be 3 root 3. And if this is known, again the same thing, this is 60 degrees, this is 90 degrees and therefore the side of the triangle can be determined. So let's say this is F. So BF into root 3 upon 2 is equal to 3 root 3 and therefore BF can be determined. That BF is equal to 6 and this has been determined. So we have got the required answer. Statement 1 is sufficient and if statement 2 is sufficient, of course this is an easier version of this. If um, we know that radius is 2 root 3, this much is 2 root 3, this is going to be 3 root 3. So we know BD is 3 root 3 and then of course BF can be determined the same way. So statement 2 is also sufficient. 1 is sufficient, 2 is sufficient, D is the right answer. It's a very good question. There's a lot to be learned from this one.